It's not the offer and um, acceptance that um, I wanted. Hi, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here today. For those of you who don't know, my name is Serena and this channel is dedicated to starting and setting up a glamping site from scratch. In today's video, I wanted to document the formal offer that we made to Tinny. It was a process and instead of having one roll of video, there's various clips which were taken over various days. Um, to say it was quite stressful was a bit of an understatement. Oh, drama, my favourite. I hope you enjoy watching um, the clip. Yeah, it's Sunday. It's Sunday, the estate agents are open. Yep. And what are we going to do? Are we going to start today, people? Yes. yes. Ready? I'm going to call them. I'm going to put it on loudspeaker. Okay. Okay. I got two toys. <laughs> Good morning. We're going to turn it to Oh, hi there. I don't know whether um, you had anyone in today, Richard or Damien. Okay. No, that's fine. Um, I was wondering then whether I was able to um, put in a formal offer on a property that I saw yesterday. Um, with yourself. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and you are actually, um, you are sold subject to contract at the moment. Yes. <laughs> and who are you selling with? Uh, so we actually not, we've got a private sale. Um, I can, yeah, I can send you their solicitor's details. Right, okay. We'll let you know I'm here until one o'clock. Okay, fantastic, lovely. Right. Yes, yep, yeah, okay, no problem, that's great. Okay. But, um, yeah, lovely, all right. All right, great. Okay. Thank, Thank you, soon. thanks, bye. Right. bye. 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 So when I called the estate agent on the Sunday, I asked to speak to the agent that we'd been dealing with previously and the person who'd shown us around on the last two occasions but unfortunately they weren't in the office on that day. So I asked if I could make an offer uh, through the lady that I spoke with. And in, in the first instance, she said, yes, I could. And then I think the fact that um, our house sale had gone through a private route, um, I think had just confused her so much that she then said to me that she would speak with another colleague in the office and then get back to me as to whether they could put the offer through without speaking to the agent first and without having any documentation with regards to the sale of our house. Um, so it all got really complicated at that point and I wish I'd just left it till Monday. Um, so the next clip you'll see is of me making a further call to the estate agents on the Monday. Um, so what I had assumed that would happen is that on the Sunday a record of my call would have been made on the system and for someone to give me a call back straight away on the Monday morning. Um, but unfortunately that didn't happen. So it got to around lunchtime on Monday and so I'd had enough and I thought I'm just going to call them. And as it would happen there was no one available. So I, um, I left a message and funny enough they didn't get back to me, but this is the clip. Right. Um, do you want me to get an email across to them at all and get them to give you? Um, I was just wondering whether I was able to um, just have a chat with him when um, he's available. No problem. Yeah, I can send an email out to Damien and um, yeah, get him to give you a call back, like you say. Yeah. Um, would it be on the number you're calling on now? Yes, please. No problem. I'll send an email over to um, Damien now and uh, make sure he give you a call back as soon as he can. All right, lovely. All right. That's great. Yeah, perfect. Thanks no, so much then. Cheers and thanks. Thank bye you. bye. Cheers. Bye. There we go. Now we just wait to hear. Uh, I don't know if it was the right thing to call or not, but we will see. Hi again. Right. Excuse my mess. We are still in the negotiation stage as the vendors needed the weekend to think about our offer and still wasn't really enough for them and need to go and have a think about it this weekend while well, we were still waiting to, up until about half an hour ago anyway my husband has just texted me see it but it says a uh, counter offer 970 and that came through at four o'clock so i'm just going to call him now um find out what um the situation is and whether we're going to go for 970 my daughter 
not do anything with it. Hey, boo boo. Is your cat staying on the couch? Is your cat staying on the couch? Yeah. Yeah, you're giving him a love? Yeah, we're going to call Craig now and see if it includes anything because there's some, the negotiation of um, the tractor, the gator, the ride on lawnmower and all those things which we were going to um, negotiate afterwards. If you include it all in the cell, um, it means that you end up, we end up paying stamp duty pretty much on those things as well. Whereas if we separate the goods from the property and the land, it means that we're then only paying stamp duty on that portion. Hello. Hello, it's me. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good, are you? Um, so I see we've got a counter offer. Yeah. Um, so did you speak to Damien? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I tried to set up on future that. Uh, okay. Tomorrow. Right, okay. What does the 970 include? Well, I'm assuming uh, with, that's with everything, so with everything. There's no, 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 no mention of it not coming with any, so I'll double check when I call them out. So, as you can see from that clip, um, a further week went past and we finally got um, a clear indication of what it was that the vendors were after. Um, we placed our offer um, in quite low so that we could then obviously work our way up. So there were some negotiation backwards and forwards which obviously wasn't videoed because I didn't know when I was getting callbacks. So what made this really complicated was the fact that there were additional items which we didn't know whether were included in the sale or not. So things like the motorised goods, the uh, accommodation furnishings and then there was also the livestock as well. The, at this early stage we have no idea what those things cost. We weren't able to say right those things are x amount of money and therefore that should come off of the asking price or whether that should be added on to the asking price because we just didn't know at this point. It's not the offer and um, acceptance that um, I wanted. Such a drawn out process. I didn't realise it was going to be like this. It's quite stressful. Um, not what I anticipated. I don't know whether it's because it's so much more money. I mean, when we spoke to the, the vendors on Friday, that was when they turned around and said that they wanted the weekend to think about it. And then we were expecting a call this morning and we had to phone them um, because we still hadn't had any response. It's not going how I thought it was going to go. Anyway, raw feelings, raw emotions. Um, not really too sure how to take it really at the moment. Anyway, so um, yeah, once we've got more news, I will let you know. Yeah, I think you can really tell in that last clip just how frustrated I was with the whole process. I really expected just to phone up, make an offer, maybe a couple of negotiations, and within a few days have an offer accepted, which we could then celebrate. I felt like the whole process was much more stressful than it needed to be. Then, Miraculously, um, we spoke with the estate agent once again, and um, this is what we found out. We're moving to Devon! <laughs> the offer got accepted. Uh, we found out today, uh, not long ago, um, this morning, and uh, yeah, we are at the, well, officially moving to Devon, I guess. Um, this is crazy, I can't believe it. Uh, like, still trying to process everything. Yeah, I didn't know if it was gonna happen or not happen, or how, why it was taking so long to kind of just get this house across the line. We still really are in the infancy stages of this whole thing, but the fact that the offer has been accepted is such fantastic news. I'm so excited, it's just great. Actually already started working, trying to work out what it is that I've got to be doing, how, what we need to sort out. Say hi, Lexi! Are we leaving to Devon? Yay! Are you excited? Yeah, no idea what's going on. I am sorry, I'm pacing because I can't stand still. The offer's been accepted. Yay! And we're going to Devon! gonna go wild yay so in this clip you'll see that this is where i tell amy that we got the property um, and the offer was accepted did we get it <laughs> Telling the kids went well. They're very excited. Yeah.
Lexi, can I get a thumbs up? Lexi, can Lexi donate this? Yay! Woo! I'm not excited. I'm excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Are you so excited? Excited, excited. Are you happy, boy? Are we going to go and live on a farm? Yeah. Yeah? In Devon? Yeah. I picked Amy up from school and I put the phone on record and then handed her the phone and told her to video her expression when I told her the news. She knew already because I was telling her every single day that we were hoping to find out that day. And every single day that I was picking her up from school, I had to tell her that unfortunately um, we had no news. Um, so I think on this occasion, because I'd handed her the phone, I think she knew already that it was um, a yes. So there we go. Offer finally accepted and we're off to Devon. We shall now go through the conveyancing process and see how long that takes us. <laughs> Bye for now.